When I got started, I was about 15 years old. I walked by a gentleman painting and I saw his artwork and it sort of tied my artistic drive and my scientific side together and he uh, took me under his wing and became my mentor. I call it freeform art. It goes by a couple of different monikers though. Spray paint art, techno art, but uh, I call it freeform art because for the most part, we're using a spray can that has very little control over its paint flow and nozzle shape and such. And I like to manipulate the wet paint as, it, as I lay it down. I come out here primarily to uh, take the stigma off of the spray can. Um, I'm trying to take degradation to inspiration using this art form that I call freeform art. Fire is a little gimmicky, I mean, it, it's a nice attention drawer, but um, it does have a, a really good function. Uh, it dries the paint. Since the paint's an acrylic polymer and it's suspended in a, a volatile organic compound, it, when I heat it up, it evaporates that VOC from the polymer layers and sets the paint. Usually the reactions I get from a crowd are um, of disbelief. They can't believe I make paintings with spray paint. And if I'm not painting right then and there, and I'm standing next to my pieces, they usually don't associate the spray cans with the art. Um, but then when I do it, they still can't quite believe their eyes. Very nice. You know, in five, ten minutes, he creates a, a masterpiece. I bought two of his paintings because he is pretty awesome with that, with the, uh, the spray paint. It's not, you know, painting on a canvas. It's more industrial than normal. How fast he does it is just incredible. It's, it's, he just goes at it, he gets an idea from his head and he puts it down on the canvas. And that's really what we really need out in this world, artistic people like that. So this piece right here is um, what we call one of our sci-fi genres. The moon colors that you see here in the land colors are the first colors I put down. After that, I usually uh, manipulate them while they're wet, marbleize them of some type, um, and then I'll shade them, the moons. I cover them, which is a masking technique. It's a negative masking, so I, I put some lids over them. Then I'll con um, continue with the background, which is the sky. And I use newspaper to marbleize where you see the land. And the, the differential pressure that I use on the newspaper creates different textures within the land. And I'll create some sort of a, a scraffito technique, which is basically scratching away the paint. It's an ancient ancient technique that has been used in many cultures and we scratch away the paint to create an illusion of detail. I believe this painting took me about 10 minutes or less. I was able to bring my family into it my wife and my daughter, two females into this type of art form. They're some of the few females on this side of the earth that do this kind of art. We're sort of the family Von Trapp of art. This is something I need to do for a multitude of reasons, actually. Number one, to get my art perspective out there. Me, myself, and I, I need the paint. And um, really, I'm just tapping into God, the creative source, to just let it flow. And financially, it's a benefit to me. I graduated from Texas State University with a biology degree, and I'm currently using it at San Antonio College in their geology museum. I tutor geology out of there. This is something that kind of helps ends me, but um, luckily, I don't necessarily need to do it, but I really do need to do it. Does that make sense?